Welcome to AccuWebHosting video tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to add and delete a website in Solid CP Control Panel. First of all, you will have to log into your Solid CP Control Panel. Enter username as server admin and password which we have sent in the login details email. Click on the login button to log into your Solid CP Control Panel. Congratulations! You are logged in your Solid CP control panel. Click on the All Customers link. Here you will see the list of all created users. If you have not created any user yet, you'll see the default admin user there. Click the username link under whom you want to add a website. Here, we have used username admin as a demo. Once you click on the username, you can see icons of all the services which you can manage from the Solid CP. Click on the website icon under the web and application section to add a new website. Here you can see the list of previously created websites. To add a new website, click on the create website button. Once you click on the create website button, one new window will be opened. If you want to add a website without any prefix such as accu15.com then keep the first text box blank. Select your domain name from the drop-down menu. Here, we have selected accu15.com as a demo. Keep include zone template checkbox checked, and click on create website button. Once you click on the create website button, the website will be created. You will see website properties page. Select folder in your hosting space radio button and browse to the path of your web application. If you want to redirect your website to some URL, select Redirection to URL Radio button. You can rearrange default document priority from here. If you want to add website pointer, you can add it by clicking on the Add Website Pointer button. You can also see the status of your website and application from here. If your website or application pool is stopped due to a specific reason, you can start it from here. If you want to add a virtual directory, click on the Virtual DIR, Virtual Apps option. If you want to change the application pool or PHP version of your website, click on the Extension options. In ASP.NET option, you can select the application pool of your website from the drop-down list. In PHP option, you can choose PHP version for your website from the drop-down list. Click on the Save Changes button to save the changes made by you. If you want to create a custom error page which helps your client to troubleshoot it, you can add it from Custom Error option. You can add MIME type for your website by clicking on the MIME Types option. Click on the Save Changes button to save the changes which you have made. Let's see how to delete a website from the Solid CP Control Panel. Before deleting a website from the Solid CP Control Panel, please make sure that you have taken the necessary backup of your website content from the Solid CP Control Panel. Click on the username. After then go to the Web and Applications section and click on the website's icon. Here you can see the list of previously created websites. Click on a website which you want to delete. Scroll down the screen and click on the Delete button to delete the website. Click on the OK button for the confirmation on delete operation. Once you click on the OK button, the website will be deleted. Thank you for watching.